4. All right, could regular fasting be good for your heart? Last year, Dr. Ben Horn led a team of researchers at Intermountain Medical Center to study the possible benefits of fasting. And he joins us now with the results of that study. And I guess I want to jump right into that, but I also wanted you to weigh in on the beer and the, and the breast milk thing. Good idea, bad idea, since we have a doctor here. Well, I, I, I'm not... Um Involved in obstetrics, yeah. and so I, I you'll just I'll stay pass out of it? on that. Okay. But, uh, well, let's jump in the fasting study because we say fasting. A lot of people in this culture in this uh, area think, oh, one day of, of not eating and then going back to what? What constituted fasting in your study? Well, we've studied fasting of one day approximately in our uh, population of cardiac patients right. previously, and we found that there was, for the general population, there was a reduced risk of coronary artery disease and also diabetes in those who were doing it routinely as part of their lifestyle. So, so were those the only benefits, or were you just looking for those particular benefits? Obviously, we've seen all kinds of, of, of research on it, but all the, the benefits you were looking at. Those are the primary benefits we are looking for because those those are the strengths that we have to look at in the Heart Institute. Obviously, there's medicine. You could take pills and things like that for heart disease and things like that, diabetes. Where does fasting compare to that? I've, I've heard some people say it's the best thing you can do that's not a pill. Well, it, it appears to have a very strong effect. And actually, the re research is very preliminary, but we're finding that it appears to have a strong effect. And we are pursuing interventional trials where we're moving from just asking people, what do you do, to looking at individuals who have a higher risk of diabetes or coronary disease and asking them to fast more frequently. Why do you think that is? I mean, because I guess on the surface, say fasting is, I'm just not eating or drinking. Why would that have an impact on something like that? What it appears to do is two things. One, it causes the cells of the body to go into a uh, self-protection mode because they're being stressed, there's no food. The other is it causes a, a large increase in human growth hormone, which is an antagonist to proteins in the, the system that leads to diabetes. And it uh, causes the body to change to using fats for fuel, and that potentially reduces the insulin resistance, which leads to diabetes by reducing the amount of uh, fat tissue in the body. Now, obviously, f or fasting is not something you want to do just to lose, you know, as a weight loss thing. I mean, it's part of a, a bigger picture there, I I'm assuming. What is the healthiest way to approach it? I mean, is it continue to, to have liquids while you're fasting? Is it better to do it one day at a time, half day, two days? It's not completely clear yet. There are a few other centers that have started to study fasting, but they're only looking at it as a weight loss approach. We found other things that suggest there are larger benefits than just what you would get from weight loss. But we are suggesting, one, that people do drink water when they fast. Dehydration is a risk factor for stroke. And then beyond that, right now, for the average individual in the population, once a month may be sufficient if you're doing it over a period of decades. Oh, so obviously there's a, a health benefit there, and, and you're suggesting so they don't get dehydrated to take some water. Uh, just one of the research projects. There are other things going on there. I know we don't, don't want to get into too many details, but what else are you doing that we can look forward to hearing about later? Well, there are many projects going on, and uh, we have clinical trials. We also have other studies we just for people who have come through the hospital, we study what's happened to them. Uh, this weekend, we're presenting 16 studies at the Conference of the American College of Cardiology in Washington, D.C. It's the most uh, research studies to yeah. be presented by any uh, institution in the United States. Well, I'll let you, I'll get the, I'll get the uh, Cliff Notes version of that when you're done after you have that big meeting with guys using words that I would not understand <laughs> anyway. But Dr. Ben Horn uh, from IMC, thank you very much for coming thank by. Thank you, Don. All right.